Hi guys, this is Jeff at Slayers Racing. This video is about a bike that I hated so much that I ended up buying one. So the this is a 23 300XC and uh, I originally did a lot of testing and development on Alex's bike. He had one. I decided I needed to have one myself to do extensive testing and have it at my uh, have it available at all times. So anyhow, I bought one with the whole purpose of making it handle correctly for off-road use. Now, a lot of guys commented in my previous video that, you know, well, it's an XC, it's supposed to be stiff. Well, this thing is, this new chassis and swing arm combination is at least 30% stiffer than previous XCs. And for most guys, that doesn't work. Lots of guys posted you know, how, how great their stock bike was, but then uh, every suspension guy I know in the country, which I know quite a few of them, they all say they're just overwhelmed with customers wanting these modified. So apparently everybody's not so happy with them. All right, so my build, uh, first of all, I did the MX Tech Slavin's Mule Raven Forks. These are a 49 millimeter fork. They've got all the cool coatings, the, the DLC coating, the Kashima coating. Uh, I'll make a separate video out just on those forks with the uh, Luxon clamps. And uh, of course, I've got my graphics kit on here. Came up with a new design for that this year. Have the Moto Minded uh, Evo 4 headlight, which I really like. You know, I don't need a great big headlight to light up the desert. I just need to. Of something to get me home if uh, there's an issue where I'm out after dark. I usually don't ride after dark, but you never know. If somebody has a problem, you might be out after dark. Plus, we've got some tunnels that we go through uh, in this area, and it's a lot better to have lights for that. Up front here, I've got the SXS Burley Hand Guards. I really like these guards. Um, these are not your typical flag style guards. These are extremely stiff. They don't fold back into your hand. They give you great protection without uh, the issue of a regular wraparound, and that is getting your hand caught in there. I've put on a billet throttle housing here. It really made the throttle turn smoother. I've got uh, grippies on the ends here, which are, these come in three different uh, widths, and I think this is maybe the medium just uh, moves your grips in farther to keep your uh, in the side of your hand from getting banged on stuff. Up here are uh, XC Gears Mako 360. Excellent product. Lance down there in, uh, in the south does a great job. Uh, I've got titanium bolts on here. Actually I went totally kind of crazy with the titanium this year. As you can see I've got tie, 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 tie. Uh, the forks are all tie. A bolt right there. Uh, these are tie here. These are tie. Everything on the engine is tie. Filler plug. All these screws around here. The motor mounts. The big motor mounts on the bottom. I'll show you that from the other side. Is all tie. It's got a recluse CX clutch. Auto clutch, I absolutely love. E-line pipe guard. That's the stock pipe for now. I've got a fatty and an Arley I'll be testing. This bike is, uh, I'm taking this bike out to California. Uh, let's see, today's Wednesday. I'll be leaving Friday, my wife and I. And we're taking this bike as well as another one out there for a test with Dirt Bike Magazine. Let me get down here a little more. Got the... Uh, Slavin's Mule MX Tech National Shock. And when it's got the Slavin's Mule moniker on it, that means that we've de developed the settings on these mules. It's proprietary to Slavin's Racing. You can only buy them from us. You can buy Nationals or, or the forks from MX Tech, but they won't have the same settings. Down here, bulletproof uh, brake pedal. I use the stock pad. Uh, these are uh, Fastway Evo 4 pegs, and these are actually off the previous years. These are not the correct ones for this bike, 
And so the angle is more extreme. They're not flat. And I really like that better, actually, because uh, I've done some testing lately. And uh, with the flat peg, my I'm riding basically on this back row all the time. And at the end of the day, my foot's sore. Uh, you can see here's a tie piece, tie, 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 tie. Everything is tie this year, except for the linkage bolts. I didn't do those. I did do the shock bolt bottom and top. Actually, those come with the shock. You can see a tie bolt up in there. Uh, it's got a 3.2 gallon Cherubis tank. I know some guys are going to make comments about how you're going to catch your junk on that. Well, if you catch your junk on that, you've already got a bigger problem going on. You're going to be going over the handlebars, so I wouldn't be so worried about my junk. Uh, let's see, down here I went with the Molecule skid plate this year. I just want to try something different. Been using AXPs for years. They're still a great product, but I just want to try the Molecule. I really like the fit and finish on it and the mounting system. Uh, I added a fan kit. And you can see the orange hoses in there. Those are Samco Sport hoses. Absolutely the best hoses on the market. It's the silicone hose. Much higher quality than the stock butyl rubber hoses. Uh, you might be able to see in there. Uh, head bolts are tie as well. Power valve cover bolts. Back here I've got a special discard. But bulletproof designs made for me. It's uh, lighter than what they normally sell. This is kind of a prototype that they're working on that might come out later in the year. It doesn't have the tabs here or there for uh, the caliper guard because I don't really want a caliper guard. Got a tie bolt here, banjo bolt. I'm running the stock muffler for now just because I haven't had time to do the testing. I do have a couple other mus mufflers I'm going to be testing. Uh, let's see, I forgot up front here. Tubeless. You can see the tubeless system there as well as uh, Bridgestone X31, uh, 8121. Uh, I've also got this uh, blue seat. Always run black in the past, but I wanted the blue to match this blue. And we, we'll be stocking those as well. Let me just look over this side here, make sure I'm not forgetting something. I think that's about it. I tell you, this is the first year ever that I've built a 300 for myself that I didn't pump up the motor. Because at this elevation, we lose, uh, you know, over 20% of our horsepower. I'm at 6,000 feet, and I ride between 7 and 12 most of the time. This motor is extremely strong. And I might add a little horsepower to it later, I don't know yet, but right at the moment it's stock. These are some of the sponsors that help with this build. Uh, let's see, over here I went to uh, Dirt Tricks rear sprocket. Uh, I stuck with the stock gearing, which is 1449. I tried a 1448 to just calm it down a little bit, but I didn't really care for it. Back here, this is an AXP chain guide. Very nice, beefy product. And that's got titanium bolts as well that hold that on. Uh, there's some more tie here. This is tie. This is a special uh, washer they made me there. Got the bolt-proof designs, throttle body guard. And then you can see all the bolts on this side are tie really dresses it up and loses a few pounds. I don't have that pound uh, figure yet. I will as soon as we get some more kits in because I've saved all the bolts I took off. Uh, let's see, on this side up here, I always run the oversized, the Galfer oversized front rotor. So that requires a different mount, which you can see right there. This is a 10 millimeter larger diameter. More tie, and uh, it makes the brake stronger, but it doesn't make it touchier. It actually, makes it less touchy. It's really 
has excellent, excellent modulation. You know, you can really feel the brake better than you can with the stock one. The stock one is very touchy and tends to lock up the front wheel too easily. But overall, I think this build came out very nice. And here's my 300 XCW right next to it. I'll be talking about that in a minute. I think that about covers it, guys. Uh, no doubt I forgot something here, but uh, it's an excellent bike. It handles extremely well now. Soaks up all the trail trash. Uh, it's very stable on the rocks and roots. This is by far the most chassis, uh, stable chassis I've ever, ever ridden. Uh, this swing arm and this beefed up swing arm and, uh, and chassis combination along with the suspension components I have on here make this thing absolutely amazing now. So, I'll, uh, as with all of our videos, in the description section right below the video, I'll post all the links to everything that's on this bike so you can find them easily. And just click on them and it'll take you to the page on our website. And if you have any questions or comments, be sure and post them. For those guys that just can't seem to uh, say nice things, uh, please just don't leave a comment because I'm just going to delete it. Or if you want to use foul language, I'm going to delete that too. Or anything sexist or racist. Uh, that doesn't fly. Sorry, guys. But uh, you can take that trash somewhere else. And if you would, please subscribe to us on Instagram and Facebook. And like us on YouTube. Maybe I've got that backwards. But anyhow. Uh, number one thing to do is get out for some throttle therapy, guys. Don't forget while you watch your bike. Don't work too much. Ride more. It's all for now.